Last year, you may remember, we brought you the story of Abigail, the pot-bellied pig on the loose, tearing up people's yards in Claremont. She's cute, and she ended up at the Sugarloaf Mountain Sanctuary. She's there along with hundreds of other farm animals, abandoned or neglected by their owners. This week's Getting Results Award winner is giving those animals a second chance. On the slope of Sugarloaf Mountain. I call it a little piece of heaven. Lies a mountain ding, ding. of responsibility. Ding, ding. This afternoon ding, pilgrimage ding. is just the start of Anne Marie Roberts' dinnertime ritual. That's all they do is eat and eat and eat. It will take her nearly three hours. They hear the golf cart. To feed more than 300 farm animals. And once they hear the golf cart, they all start talking. She calls so her children. Well, I run it like a daycare. The Sugarloaf Mountain Rescue and Sanctuary is the last stop for good intentions. They really don't make good pets. Gone bad. This was a mini pig. Many of these animals start life as household they, pets. They said she wasn't going to get more than 10 pounds. And look at little Bon Bon. Only to be abandoned or abused. I get probably four to five phone calls a day. <laughs> I don't ever take a break. I never sit. At barely five feet tall. I barely eat. Roberts crisscrosses the five acre property, <laughs> making sure everyone is fed. There's no room for being tired. And those buckets she carries, <sighs> they're nothing compared to the financial weight of caring for these Are you animals. Hungry? It costs us a lot of money. I feel trapped by my heart because, you know, at times I'm like, what am I doing? I can have a nice house. I can have everything that I've always wanted. Robert says explaining her passion is perhaps harder than this doing it. This is just it. in my heart. The best she can say is it's all about the animals. If something happened to me tomorrow, I know that I did something okay, well. Now, are you going to be a good boy? Are Material things boy? come and go. Say, yes, mom, I'll go be a good but boy. But saving a life of an animal, that's what I want. What a cool wow. character, right? Robert says it costs her thousands a month to run that sanctuary, as you can imagine. She's at capacity right now, but she does plan to expand mm -hmm. somehow. So if you know somebody like Robert's, tell me about him. Go to clickorlando.com, click on the Getting Results tab, and fill out the nomination form. By the way, she gave up a great job in the fashion industry to do this. What a remarkable woman. And it's yeah. got to be so fulfilling in so many ways for yeah. her. She needs to set up a GoFundMe, though. Maybe she really should. Her. She's yeah. just got a big heart yeah. for that. Really nice.